Hey guys, Adam Fennig here with Fennig Equipment. You're tuned into the Talking Shed. Hey, today I want to do some troubleshooting with the Raven. I get a lot of phone calls. Guys will say my pump's running, I'm spitting out product, but I don't have any flow showing up. Is it my flow meter and how do I test it? So today we're going to talk about how to test a flow meter. A flow meter, basically it's pretty simple. If you look in there, there's a turbine in there that spins. I'll blow in there. I don't know if you can see that spinning or not, but the turbine spins as water flows through it and this sensor reads the splines on the turbine. It reads the pulses to figure out how many gallons is flowing through here. So this mechanism does a lot. It's a huge player in the whole computing system on your rates. So the first thing I would do if you feel like you're having troubles is take your flow meter off and blow in there and see if you can see the turbine spin. Every now and then I've had some product get stuck in there and it locks up the turbine and it doesn't spin. So that's the first thing I would do. But from there, we're gonna do some more troubleshooting. So what I want you to do is go to your meter cow number and set that to one. What that does is that tells us that every one pulse equals a gallon which we know is not right, but for this troubleshooting, that's what we're gonna do. Change it to one and then go down to total volume. And this is how your flow meter is gonna be connected into your Raven product cable. I want you to unplug it, check the connections, make sure they're good, nothing green in there. But this cable right here from your Raven, this goes back through your harnessing, back up to your tractor, up to your 450, 440. It's a three pin. I want you to look at that. <clears throat> There's a notch up top. With that notch up top at 12 o'clock, I need you to run a jumper wire from the top right hole to the one at six o'clock. And I'm gonna do that here quick, and we're gonna see what that does. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to put one wire in the top right hole and then we're going to take our jumper and we're going to press it in and out of that bottom hole and we're going to, with the master on, we're going to see if our total volume changes. And it did. It went from zero to 20. Um, so what's that tell us? <clears throat> that tells us that all of our wiring back to the Raven must be good because it is reading pulses. If you look there, it's reading pulses when I make the jump. So that tells us all of our wiring's good. Now we need to fo focus on the flow meter. So from there, now that we confirmed that all of our wiring is okay, I'd, I would just focus on the flow mm -hmm. meter. Confirm that the turbine spins if you blow through it and that there's no debris or anything caught in there. Confirm that this sensor is tight when you go to turn it. Confirm that there is no loose connection here at the pins. Um, from there, if you cannot, if you do all those things and the flow meter still looks good, I would go get a flow meter somewhere, plug it in, and try it. There could be an instance where just the flow meter's bad. Um, now the sensor could still be good and it could just be something in the turbine, but uh, at least with this test, we have diagnosed if it's in the wiring or if it's in the actual flow meter. So a flow meter is always a great thing to have on a shelf. Um, if you don't have one on your shelf right now, you are just a small glitch away from being parked for at least a day. Um, so I would highly suggest throwing one on the shelf. Um, we've got them in stock here at Fennig Equipment. That way when the day comes that you do have an issue, you can simply grab one off the shelf, throw it in, and in 10 minutes you're back, uh, back spraying, back applying fertilizer instead of having the downtime. Um, highly, highly suggest throwing one of these on the shelf. So that's what we're doing today, how to test your flow meter. 
Look for more videos from Fennig Equipment, and thank you for tuning in.